right, so what we're going to do is we are going to install Studio One from scratch. This is a newly formatted PC. We're going to log into our MyPersonas account. I'm going to actually show you how to register a serial number, although I don't have one to register, but I'll walk you through the process and what you should see once it's registered. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download some of the sound sets and have those installed as well. All right, so let's see here. Let's go to the classroom. And what we're going to do is go to our My Personas account. And you can see here I got a Personas link. We can just click on that and we can go to login. And there we go. And it automatically logged me in because I've got my password saved. All right, so let's see. Let's go to products. And you've got a serial number. You're going to go here to register a product and you're going to register it here. Once you actually register it, it'll show up in your newest product list here. All right, now, if you don't see it, log out and then log back in, and you should see it in your list. All right, so let's see here. So since we really don't have anything else on this computer, let's download the installer. And there we go. We got a Windows box, and we're going to download it. Now, this will apply to both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So all of this should be the same. And you can see here, here are the bundles and downloads that you can actually show there. All right, let's execute. And let's see what we're going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. There we go. Going to minimize. And since this is a fresh PC, I don't have to select a download location or rather an install location. It is going to install it in a default. So if you want this installed on a secondary drive, you can change that here. All right, let's click install. All right, let's click finish. And let's go to our icon, double click Studio One, let's accept, all right, so since I have Sphere, I have to log in with my, my Sphere account, signing in, activating, excellent, beautiful. There we go. We have our news feed. Okay, so this window is now to install and set up everything that you have available for your particular install. So if you have a standalone version, uh, your, your selections might be a little bit different. If you have Sphere, you pretty much have access to everything that Studio One has. So let's see, or has available, I should say. So here is the list of stuff that is kind of like the default. So you got all this stuff here. Legacy incompatibility, loop libraries, core libraries. So let's see. Uh, let's do this. Let's start with the basics. Let me go back up to the top of the list. And let's see. We're just going to start with the artist library. And we're going to uncheck that. We're going to go ahead and do the demos. Going to go ahead and do the documentation. And I think we just want the English manual. And impact drums. I think there's a bunch of choices. Ah, okay, we'll do that. That shouldn't be that large. Impulse responses. Legacy incompatibility. Let's see. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. But we're not going to install that right now. Loop libraries. All right, we're, get, we're whoops. We are not going to install any of that right now. And the core libraries. Yeah, there we go. So, take that check mark out. Whoops. 
So let's see. Okay, cut. Install six items. So now what this is going to do is it's going to download and install everything that I've selected. And I'll have access to it as soon as it all loads up. And I do have to say, hey, I like these uh, progress bars. So you can see exactly what's installing and how long you have before you can start working with it. All right. So now the, the, um, the only things in the list now are things that I haven't downloaded yet. There you go. So you can also check um, things that you may have purchased in the past. And you can also check everything available to you in Sphere, which is a huge list. <laughs> and you can download these uh, one at a time as needed. And then you can also choose what this view shows you as far as just the sound sets, just the extensions, and then other options. So if you are actually uh, going to install everything from Sphere, you probably want to do these one at a time as well. All right, so I'm happy with what I have right now. It'll give me enough to test it. So let's go ahead and restart Studio One now. Oh, and this is the welcome screen. This is something new. This is nice. This will walk you through all of the things that they feel a beginner would need to know be before actually getting started. So let's just quickly go through each of them. And that is it. So let's see if Studio One restarts. All right, I think we're going to do this. There we go. So is it going to restart on its own, or do I have to? Nope, it restarted on its own. All right, let's see. Help us improve Studio One. So this is this is going to be if you want to share how much you use uh, Studio One, and you want to send them details if they want to make the product better. Now, you don't have to do this. I usually do, but you don't have to. Just like that. There we go. Excellent. So let's open up a new song. And let's just go with new Studio One song. <laughs> Hate it when it does that. And let's see. So we have our instruments. Personas. And let's see. Impact. Good. We got our drum kits. And remember, these are the basic ones that come with Studio One when you first install it. My tie should have some instruments. It does. And presence. Yeah, just the artist instruments. I got to go back and install the rest. And I don't think sample one has much. No, it doesn't. All right, perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do impact. And I'm going to choose just one of the kits and make sure that it opens. There we go. Excellent. I wonder if this is actually being picked up here. Let's see. Excellent. All right. So there you go. That kind of gives you an idea on what to install, how to actually get things going to, uh, when you first get Studio One, when you first install it, and what you should actually look at just to get things rolling and maybe just to test Studio One before you start doing the huge amount of downloads. All right. So now if I want to get back, if I want to get back to that, let's go file and let's go close and we don't want to save and now let's go to I think is it help I always forget mm, studio one there we go studio one installations boom there we go so now we're back to the list of all of the things that we can download so let's see, we just want to do the purchase stuff, and there it is in the list. All right, so I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you all <laughs> in the next video.
And please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content. It really helps my standing with YouTube. Take care, folks.